Oh, this is difficult. This is really difficult. I don't actually know the answer to this. I'm not gonna lie. I, I think they're all useful. Kase bu ichi no toko ne. So credit A with B ga detemasu ne. Kore ne nankan daigaku toko ne shigai sareru yatsu desu kedo. ここで始まりまりしたアンチャンネルですこのゴールデンウィーク5月2日3日はですね入試問題を解くシリーズになりますこれ土日はさ多大予備授業出ないですからその代わりここでねやろうと思いますあで5月の4日5日6日は多大予備の方でスペシャル授業、まあ、今まで多大予備でやってきた授業で習ったことを実際の入試問題を使って解いてみるっていうのを撮影しましたので朝6時に出しますのでそちらも見てくださいで今回はですね余計な分を取り除く問題ありますよねあれをネイティブはどうやって解くのかっていうのをですね知りたかったのでジェイミーに解いてもらいましたところどころね補足解説自分もしていこうと思いますので見てくださいこんにちは And welcome back to the only series on YouTube where a fully qualified English teacher fails at answering Japanese university entrance exam questions. This week, we're continuing on with the center shiken, which I started last week with some、uh, pronunciation and stress questions. And we're going on to. We're skipping a few questions because there、um, were some word fill questions that I've done before. And final set of questions. We have long paragraphs of text, and our job is to delete a sentence that. Is unnecessary. It's not that it doesn't make sense, just that it doesn't really add anything to the paragraph. So I'm going to read the whole paragraph so that you can hear how I pronounce any words and then I'll answer the question afterwards. So, in the early history of the NBA, the biggest professional basketball league in North America, the games were often low scoring and, as a result, not always exciting. A prime example was a game between the Lakers and the Pistons in 1950. The result of the game was a 1918 18 win for the Pistons. These games frustrated fans of the day, and this became a major motivation to introduce a new rule to increase scoring a 24 second limit for each shot. The pressure of the time limit caused players to miss their shots more often. After much discussion, the rule was first used in an official game on October 30th, 1954. Ever since, individual teams have often scored over 100 points in a game. This simple change made the game more exciting and saved the league. Right, as an Englishman, I know nothing about the NBA or basketball as a sport, but that's thankfully not important for us. We just want to see what doesn't actually add any information. So, probably the most important sentence in this whole paragraph is number one, so we're not deleting that. This is, this is telling you, oh, this example, the, here is a game that is. Pivotal to what we're talking about, so we, we don't want to get rid of number one. The pressure of the time limit caused players to miss their shots more often. Interestingly, this question is talking about games being low scoring. And if you miss your shots, they're still going to be low scoring, right? I mean, if I'm playing football and I don't score a goal once, which is pretty accurate of me playing football, then it's a low scoring game, there's not many goals. So I think the answer here is two. The pressure of the time limit caused players to miss their shots more often. I mean, surely it's making people take shots more often. doesn't matter if they miss or not. So the answer is answer number two.、Uh, but I think that's quite difficult, actually. The first question is, but this problem is that the first question 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 is that the first コートがちっちゃい中,中で相手コート入ったら自陣のコート戻れないしめちゃめちゃ狭い中で戦うんですよその中で,でしかもね1回のシュート2点とか3点入るわけですからすごく少ないだから変えなきゃいけないとシュート打つまでに24秒っていうねルールを課そうっていうそういう話です例えばね2番のやつが時間のプレッシャーがかかっちゃったからもっとシュート外すようになっちゃったよって書いてあるでもその後にさ100点よりも多く取ることだってよくあるっていう書いてあるわけじゃないだから全然ね合ってないわけですよ矛盾してるあとはまあもちろん3番のねやつが「The Rule」って書いてあるから2番をどかした時の「A New Rule」とうまくつながるなっていうのも分かってもいいしトピックがあってその流れとして NBA ではね
つまんない試合もあったんだよ。点数が低くて、まあ多分パスバックはしてて、シュートしないんでしょうね。で、それが似たスコアを増やすために24秒でルールを課すモチベーションになりましたって言って、実際に導入されて、その導入されて以来、すごい点数が増えたと。で、だこの少しの変化でゲームがね、すごくエキサイティングになったんだよっていうふうにスーッとつながりますよね。パラグラフナンバー2 You might have been told, sit up straight or you'll get backache. But is it true? People have long assumed that posture has played some role in back pain. Surprisingly, the evidence from research linking posture and backache may be weak. Our back is naturally curved, from the side it is S shaped. Individuals have their own unique bone size that determine. Oh, mistake. <laughs> Individuals have their own unique bone sizes that determine their body shapes. It has been thought that good posture meant straightening out some of the curves. According to a study examining doctors' opinions, it was found that there was no single agreed upon standard or proper posture. One researcher even says that often changing your posture, especially when sitting, is more important for preventing back pain. The main source of back pain may be stress and lack of sleep, not the way someone is sitting. Okay, so we're talking about back pain. We're talking about causes and effects. Our back is naturally curved. That's a good point. Quite important to know, right? Because it's talking about posture, so how you're sitting. Sitting up straight like this is quite uncomfortable. I, I always sit slouched and leaning forward, so it's important to know that your back is, is S shaped. Individuals have their own unique bone sizes that determine their body shapes. Is that, is that necessary? Do you need to know that? I mean, Body shapes has nothing to do with your posture. Number three, it has been thought that good posture meant straightening out some of the curves. That makes sense. That's important. Because we're going to disprove that with sentence number four, which says that there was no single agreed upon standard. So I think, again, here, the, the useless sentence is, is sentence number two. So, again, quite difficult because you. It's, it's difficult to know what's important and what's not, but the answer here, number two. この二つ目の問題はね、すごく間違った人が多かったんですけど、トピックっていうのが、腰痛と姿勢ってやつですね。姿勢が悪くて腰痛になっちゃうとかね、はい、私もそれに悩まされますけど、そういう話なのに、その2番だけが体型でずれちゃってるんですよ。そうこのトピックのずれに気がつかないと、これ何度読んでもわかんないんですよ。どれも良さそうに聞こえちゃうんだけど、他はきちんと姿勢について書いてるんですね。骨っていうのがね、この S 字になってるんだけど、その S 字のそのカーブをこうって。多少こうどこかをこう伸ばした状態っていうのが適切な姿勢だって思われてたけど決まってないとスタンダードはっていう流れになってるわけですそこがね骨のサイズが,が体型を決めるっていうとなんかねシェイプっていう単語があるから良さそうに聞こえちゃうんですよ日本人にとってはねでも体型っていうのはずれてるっていうふうに思えたかどうかなんですねだからネイティブからするとこれはスッと解けるわけなんですよが面白いなと思ったクエスチョンナンバー3 One of the most important features in the development of civilization was the preservation of food. Preserving pork legs as ham is one such example. Today, many countries in the world produce ham. But when and where did it begin? Many credit the Chinese with being the first people to record salting raw pork, while others have cited the Gauls, ancient people who lived in western parts of Europe, not from Fallout 76. Another common seasoning is pepper, which works just as well with the preservation of food. It seems almost certain that it was a well established practice by the Roman period. A famous politician in ancient Rome wrote extensively about the salting of hams as early as 160 BC. Regardless of their origin, preserved foods like ham helped human culture to evolve and are deeply rooted in history. Okay, I think this one's actually quite. Oh, this one's quite hard actually. So, initially, they're talking about preservation of food and then preserving pork legs and ham. Then they talk about countries. When and where did it begin? Many credit the Chinese. So, that has to be important. Sentence number one is important. Another common seasoning is pepper, which works just as well as nipper. Okay, so they're saying here's another way of doing it. It also works in preserving food. So, that, that sounds quite important. It seems almost certain that it was a well established practice by the Roman period. Yeah, still talking about. Preservation of food. A famous politician in ancient Rome wrote extensively about the salting of hams as early as 160 BC. Okay, so to, to me, they all seem quite useful sentences. They're all adding information. But、uh, what one could be. What one could be useless? I don't actually know the answer to this. I'm not gonna lie. I, I think they're all useful. It seems almost. So it's saying when and where did it begin? That's the question it's asking. 
So the first sentence answers that question, so it cannot be number one. I think the answer here would be number three. It seems almost certain that it was a well-established practice by the Roman period, because that's not talking about when or where it started, whereas sentence number four gives an actual date of 160 BC, which says, you know, this is, it, it, it was a well-established practice by this point. Well, this is difficult. This is really difficult. Because I think it's all actually quite useful and important information. But I think the answer here, I'm going to stick with my gut. I'm going to say that the answer here is number three, and I'm going to be proven right or wrong by the video. この持ってる人もいると。it is now midnight, so thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go to bed. Very important message. Please stay safe. Difficult times out there for everyone, but make sure you're staying safe, and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Just a note, I have 10 days from today until my 10,000 word dissertation for university is due in. It's my final project. It's what all of my university career has built up to, and it is due in on the 1st of May. And then I have a little side project due in on the, on the 6th or 7th of May. So, no video this week, like this coming week. But once my assignments are all done, hopefully I will see you again. So, thank you very much for watching. See you again. Bye-bye.